everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's 4.30 on uh, October 3rd, and i got to make this fast because i got to get out of here in a few minutes. So, pause the video and read this. Okay, now I'm warning you, if you didn't pause the video and read that, you need to go back and do it. Okay, real quickly. Um, descending channel, breakout, back test. Move up looked like a good bounce that was going to head higher, deeper uh, back test today that um, basically found supported about 1670. But here's the catch. We have to ask ourselves which of these trend lines is going to win this little battle because we've got this this little head and shoulders shape right here. Or you could say it's a triangle. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's it's basically we pulled back to this resistance line right there, um, and started selling back again. So this line looks to be important in the very short term, and this if it if this does act as a head and shoulders top, it has not finished its business yet. We should be seeing 1666 or so. But here's the catch. In order for that to happen, this trend line has to get taken out. So it's going to be an interesting battle to see uh, what takes place um, tomorrow and early next week. Um, you know, if if some kind of a deal gets hammered out on this uh, debt ceiling, not not the debt ceiling, but uh, the government shutdown, then you know, all bets are off, and we probably rally hard. But right now, this kind of caught me as a surprise. It looked like we were ready to rally, but no, instead we really have a, a pretty rough day, and uh, and again. It's probably based upon just what's going on in Washington, but once that gets resolved, we probably will we probably will start heading back up. But for right now, hey, if this line breaks um, by a technically significant margin, then we're looking at what could be the beginnings of a more major corrective move, um, setting up potentially to, to come back here and retest around 1600. So let's kind of keep our fingers crossed that that does not happen, but if it does, to be prepared for it. So tomorrow will be important. We'll see if maybe that move today down to 1670 and change is enough to take care of the uh, of what's going on with this little pattern right here but you can see it's like we've got this line and we've got this line both should be support you would think that would be a good a good strong bounce down there but you know every trend line is made to be broken so for right now um, uh, all, all I can say is we just need to keep keep our eye on it and see um, see if these lines hold or if the market can regain its strength and get back over this little purple line right here. One thing that uh, is worth noting with this uh, move down today, and that is depending upon exactly where you draw the neckline and what we were thinking was a, uh, a, a potential head and shoulders top that then turned into a channel. Well, guys, this may be like the old Saturday Night Live sketch where Hey, it's a dessert topping. No, it's not. It's a floor wax. Hey, kids, it's both a dessert topping and a floor wax. Don't know if you ever saw that skit, but, you know, maybe it's both of them. Because here's our channel. Broke out of it. Back test. This bigger pattern, pretty much, depending upon where you, uh, where you want to say the breakdown took place, it's hard to say, to be honest with you, but... You, you can see that we are real close in the area here of having made that minimum uh, expected target. And again, part of it depends upon where where you draw this neckline. And, and it's not a perfect pattern, so we don't know exactly where it is. So let's see if we, 
if we have a, a day tomorrow where we gather some strength and start heading back up, or if we put serious pressure down here on this uh, on this turquoise line. One other thing uh, to mention, and um, hold on, let me go back to my to what I was looking at in the time frame. Is that uh, you remember we had our little um, why is this doing that? Yeah, remember I mentioned that we had our uh, extended potential neckline from this head and shoulders pattern back here that that uh, that failed to develop its right shoulder. Again, if we extend that out, what do we get? Well, we get support here. Additionally, we had a gap. If we snap a parallel line to where that gap was, look where it goes right there. So we got we got three or four pretty solid reasons to expect this to be a bottom. But we got this little uh, head and shoulders top uh, that would serve as a continuation pattern, actually not a top. We've got this guy right here that the that hasn't quite made what what it uh, what it looks like it wants to make out of itself. So guys, let's see if this if this is a legitimate bounce. I mean, you can see once we got down there a little bit before lunch, we moved up pretty good, but it's, then we ran into this resistance. So let's see if the S and P has the strength, and if these if the uh, conjunction of these four support areas down here are enough to propel the S and P up. Uh, tomorrow and early next week. So guys, there's your fairly quick down and dirty video. Thanks for watching. Take care.